Hello everyone, this is Yolanda from the Upcrafts channel and today I wanted to show you how I made this little quick and easy ornament. It's a keepsake ornament. Um, it's for the baby's first Christmas. It's a little girl so I used the pink. Um, I just did it freehand. I didn't use a stencil or anything. If you wanted to come out neater, obviously this is not as neat as maybe if you had it all perfectly lined out and traced it first or even use a stencil. But anyway, I did this. Put a little bit of yarn. It's a keepsake for her. This is from an item that I made for her, a little blanket. And so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and let's get the party started. Hello everyone, this is Yolanda from the All Crafts channel, and in these next few, um, I'm gonna try in these next few videos, um, uh, I'm gonna try to show you different ways to make um some of the Christmas ornaments. Now this is plastic. Um, usually get them from in glass from um, Lowe's or Home Depot. I couldn't find any today, and so I got these, which are clear, but they are. Um, from Walmart. They're a dollar each and usually sometimes they have them the glass ones at the dollar store But I didn't find any so these are different ideas of what you could do for Christmas to decorate your own um, Ornaments now these I'm going to be using some of these little um, gemstones um, Rhinestones you couldn't get them at I got these at um, Joann's but I think they have them at Michael's and Hobby Lobby as well you're going to use your own whichever kind of um, uh, paint. This is a glittery paint, but it doesn't matter. If you don't have glittery paint, you can use regular whatever color. But remember, this color is going to show through. Um, and then we pour glitter on them. This is a really uh, thin fashion glitter. And then, of course, I have a bunch of it that I got from... Um, uh, Hobby Lobby in different colors so you get whatever color you want now for this I'm going to be using after the paint dries I'm going to be using this E6000 it smells horrible so you really need to have it in a well ventilated area you can't get any of that glue on the jewels or else it looks weird that's why I use this little jewel grabbing this little bead grabbing thing now if you could see these beads they're not clear all the way um, let me get closer here so you can see what I'm talking about so see, on one side it has this finish, and then the other side it has it. If you get it on top of here, they're going to get really bad. If you get the jewels that are clear all the way, they're going to show the glue on there. So you need to try to get the kinds that have some kind of backing. That's why I got this little rhinestone um, to work on that. Now this is just freehand. If you're not really good at painting or you want to have it drawn out, you can draw it out, you know, with the... Um, a little pencil and then go over it with it with your uh, paint or if you don't even want to put paint you can just go over it with a glue um, just use your little glue like this and then go around it this is a flexible stretch so I would just use the regular glue make your designs and then cover it with the glitter I have a bottle a little jar here that I'm going to use for another project for Christmas project and sometimes I just use this just so that I could hold that to dry that way or else you can just go ahead and string something through here and hang them um, from um, a little pole or something to get them to hold into place until you just you know hang it through here until you could get it to go um, get completely dry I usually wait till it's all dry and then I add the beads okay so here I'm just going to do it on one side and then I'm going to put it here then since it's going to be there I'll go ahead and put the glue on there and then let that side dry like 24 hours come back the next day flip it over and do the other side of the um, design you don't have to do it you could just leave it like that so to begin here I'm just going to get this um, plastic one I would prefer like I said my preference is to get the um, the um, gosh I can't even talk here the colored uh, glass I'm going to get a little paper towel here so that you just kind of like um, squish this. Usually I would do this with a clear um, paint and then add the glitter but since I'm doing it on here if I do clear you won't be able to see it. So here I'll get my paint ready and like I said you could draw on it first whatever design you want. Now this one I'm making I'm gonna do it the reason I got the clear is because I'm gonna do it for a baby's first Christmas okay and um, I have 
for this baby I had done a sweater a little blanket actually with three colors I did a ripple on it and these are the color yarn I used these are the actual yarn I used for that little sweater and so as a memento to kind of remember that I got some of the re leftovers and this is just one idea you don't have to do this then I get these these little yarn bits I'm going to just stuff them in there they don't have to be really tight like that as a matter of fact I don't know if they were a little bit too tight so this is just be something that they took um they had the baby photographed with this little blanket it was kind of like on the ground and then they laid the baby on there Oops, having trouble getting the yarn on there so this is um something that they are familiar with the yarn on this okay so you could do this uh, for a grandchild or whatever or if you made something special i'm going to put the yarn on there so that it could remind them of that and then i'm just going to go ahead and get my pink glue you're going to be able to see it here okay and you could do it freehand or you could trace it or do whichever way you want but i'm just going to write on here i know it's kind of kind of brave to just do it freehand like this but i'm just going to put like this and then i'm going to kind of squiggle the the paint on there and if you make a mistake what's good about this you could just get a paper towel and clean it off you're not really going to be able to see it because we're going to put glue on it so I just put one making a little one there and if you're not really steady like I said you could just paint it there so I put one I'm going to clean the tip a little bit and then I'm going to put the glue on top of here so you're not really going to see it too much and I'm going to just put first just like that and then I'm going to put here you could do it any way you want but I'm just going to put it here I don't I don't have really pretty penmanship so sorry guys first Chris uh oh oh no see I got my hand on it let me just clean it off it's not too bad I didn't mess it up Chris I wish I had prettier penmanship, but anyway, hopefully they'll think that's part of the charm. <laughs> or I'll tell them, this is part of the charm. It's uh, You just do like that first Christmas, okay? And then if you want, then you could just put the year. Um, I guess here, 2014. That's totally optional. This is just one idea. You could put the baby's name if you prefer. Or you could just put the number. Just like that. Okay. So this is my first idea when you've created or made uh, crocheted something for a child. If you don't want to have glitter, then just leave it like that. Okay. I do have the softer glitter, which I'm going to, this is like more of a fashion glitter. Let me see if I could put it here without it sinking in or getting touched. Okay. So see here, it's going to hold it without it touching the sides or you could hang it up if you want. If you want a different kind of glitter, you can do that. I'm actually going to pour the glitter over my little handy dandy um, on um, this little tray that I use for my other stuff. And then once I spill it out i just hate when it goes everywhere and believe me when you start working with glitter it will go everywhere i think i'm going to instead of using this i'm going to use the bigger glitter here because i have a lot of this and i'm going to try the you use whichever kind you like it doesn't really matter uh, if you don't want glitter just leave it like that there's actually some glue that has glitter on it. I actually saw some at the dollar store, but I didn't know how well it would work. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of glitter just on top like this. Okay. And it almost looks kind of, this one from Hobby Lobby, it kind of looks like snow. So this, I'm not going to pick it up and put out the, the leftovers back on there because 
there's green down there, but I could use that for something else. Okay, so this is one of the ideas, okay? It's not really like crazy, it just says first Christmas. Let me see if I could focus it better because it's having, I'm having trouble showing it. Let me move this out of the way so you could see it better. It just says first Christmas, okay? Oh, I just got some paint on my hand. Now, I put the yarn in there because that was from the sweater I made for this little girl. It turned out to be a little girl. They didn't know till she was born. Just make sure that you don't scrunch your your letters, whatever you hold it on. So I'm going to let that one dry for 24 hours. So that's my first ornament style. And that's great for your first year babies, okay? So that one with the yarn in there, just a little memento. So that I'm going to put this aside. Okay, as you can see, it's ready, it's done. Um, the little glitter I put, this was the glitter that I got at um, Hobby Lobby. I just free, free handed it. If you want it to look a lot nicer, you could put, like I say, little stickers or use a stencil and then do your painting. But this was just something I just wanted to do as the first Christmas um, ornament with the yarn from the baby blanket. It's a little baby blanket I did. And those were the little scraps. She has a, her first um, three month old picture. She was laying on this blanket that I made. So um, that'll be a nice little reminder for them. And it's just another idea of how you can make a keepsake without having to spend a ton of money. This was, um, the most expensive thing was 96, this is 96 cents. I did get them on, um, uh, several of them, they were on sale for two for 96. And then I had to get two of them at the regular price because I didn't get enough at the same time. So here is uh, another idea for a Christmas ornament. Just paint it on there, stick your little yarn in there. And your 2014 uh, or whatever year it is you could also put the baby's pick uh, baby's name I hope you this one I'm just gonna put um, some paint I'm actually gonna put the rhinestone uh, paint then rhinestones and it's gonna kind of glitter when it's on the tree it's up to you how you want to do it for this one I don't want it I'm gonna just put this I know you're not gonna be able to see it but once I pour the glue on there you'll be able to see it a little bit better i have this one that's already started let's see if i can get it out i hate that sometimes it gets like the little glue gets the paint gets clogged there so you can't always see it really well okay that one's kind of dried up this is live tv no i'm just joking <laughs> If I was on TV, they'd already fire me because I, I make too many mistakes online. <laughs> they'd be like, you're out of here, lady. You make too many mistakes, okay? But I just wanted you to see how you recuperate. For this one, is this freehand like I said? Okay, I don't know why the camera stopped. But like I said, you can draw it out with a pencil or a pen. Or you could put a sticker and then trace the sticker. Or trace it, okay? This one you're not going to be able to see right now because it's clear. It does have some glitter, but I don't think it's enough. So I'm just going to start and make some little crazy swirly designs. If you want, you could use the, that um, acrylic glue. So I hope you could kind of see it. See, I just kind of made a swirly design. It does have um, glitter in here, but... I don't know if that's going to be enough to show, okay? So I'm going to let that slowly design dry a little bit overnight. This one I'm going to hang it like this or try to hang it up from a little post. I do have a little hanging thing that is actually for um, for cakes. But <laughs> I'm going to um, use that one to hang this, um, this little ornament instead. Okay, let me move the glass so you can see what I've done. So I put the swirly stuff. Yucky, look at that. I got paint on my hand. So I put the swirly designs on here. And you could do more, but you're going to have to let this dry a little bit more. So for this, it has that, the glitter on there. But I want my I want it to be the gold color. Yeah, I know. I want it. 
I want everything, right? Uh, you could do a green, you could do a gold, whatever color you want. Let me open this gold color one. Oops. Kind of broke that there. Sorry, guys. And then I'm going to put it over my tray here. I just sprinkled it on just to get some extra gold on there. You could do whatever color you want. This one is just going to have a little bit of gold because it already has some other glitter on there. And I love the... See, I'm just putting... Oh, sorry guys, I didn't realize I was outside of the view of the camera. Basically, all I'm doing is just sprinkling this over the... That's the, the fabric paint, but you could even use regular glue and it'll stick to there. There's on one side. And then, being careful not to smudge it because it hasn't dried all the way. I'm going to put it on the other side. You could make as many designs as you want. You could put numbers, letters. You could do the names of all your kids. So all your kids will have a different ornament. And I'll show you what I put afterwards when I get these done. Okay, so I got some glitter in there. I'm going to some more here. Let me get some more out of there and just put it on this. There's some little different colors. It doesn't matter because this is just a crazy design. Okay, so I'm going to hang this up from this little loop with a little string actually and hang it on of my little sugar uh, cookie dryer. Okay, and then I'm going to come back once it's dry I'll come back and finish the second part and show you what I do with this. Okay, so these are the ornaments I did. I did a video for this separately. And then our little memento ornament. And then um, all those are dry. This one's dry too. Um, and I just did it with the uh, glitter, the little glue. And then I added the gold glitter. And now I'm going to put in some of this little, um, these little strips like I did here. Um, they're called iridescent shreds. I got this one at the dollar store and this is enough to make a ton of stuff and then that's the kind you put like in gifts. And then somebody asked me about this tool that I use to grab the little um, beads with. It's called a bead buddy and I got it at um, at Joann's and what it does, let me get close here so you can see, it opens up so it just allows you to grab the beads and that way you don't get your hands all full of glue because it does get really sticky so I'm just gonna put in some of these little shreds in here just like this and then I'm gonna just glue a few little beads and it'll be done so those are just some of the ways you could de decorate um, some of your ornaments I'll come back and show you what this looks like when it's done okay I finished doing all of those um, putting that stuff in here uh oh there's too much glue on here I just like to put tiny little dabs. I'm going to put one there in the center. And then I could get my little tool buddy here. Pick it up. Stick it on there. Just tap it there in the center. I'm going to put another one on the other side. Can you believe I'm doing this without my glasses? And even this, sometimes it's hard to do. I hate to accept the fact that, hey, I need to wear glasses. But, unfortunately, that's what's happening now with my vision. I wanted to tell everybody that work on my website is going on right now during the month of December. So hopefully I'll have it done before Christmas. I'm really excited about it because I'm going to have um, working on a little newsletter and I want to be able to share some of your guys' web pages if you have Etsy stores or different things like that. That way we all help each other to have our little stores grow together. Um, and then if you guys want to be a guest blogger and write articles or share some of your stuff, I want to have a little tab there so that um, you know, everybody gets to know each other, and we all help each other as a community. Because it's not just a web page for me, but it's I want it to be a web page for everybody 
that watches the videos and that way we could share and grow and learn from each other so um, if you want to um, be a guest uh, blogger or have your little store featured um, if you have an Etsy store then you need to go to my Facebook page and that's where I'm going to be taking oh let me take this off your information send me a message and the name of your little store and if you want to do a blog then we'll give, give me your information there so this is the last one I'm going to do it's not you know hard they're just easy projects you can do if you have a glue gun that's a low temp you could do that too but um, I have I've been looking for my glue gun and I can't find it anywhere and I'm starting to freak out because it's a crafter it's like the glue gun is like one of your main things you use so these are the three I did the video already for this here and then this way I'm gonna do a little reef and um, a little um, I don't know if you could see oh my gosh my room is such a mess guys I shouldn't even be showing you <laughs> But I want you to see what a mess I have. See all those stuff? Those are all the craft stuff of projects I'm working on. So, for videos for you guys. So, excuse. Look at what a terrible mess. My mom would be so ashamed of me now. <laughs> but I'm working on all some other projects. And so, that's why I've been so busy. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hit that like button. Help me grow my channel by sharing my videos with your friends and family and asking them to subscribe. Also, be sure to visit my web, my um, Facebook page and become a fan. That's where you can post pictures, ask questions, and request video tutorials. Have a great day. And remember always that God loves you.